Have you ever followed instructions to build a Lego set or helped your parents bake cupcakes? If you have, then you know that you have to follow steps exactly as they are written from start to finish. If you don't follow instructions exactly, things might not turn out the way you planned. In other words, order matters. A computer reads code the same way that you would read a recipe, from the first line to the last one. In programming, this order of instructions that are to be followed exactly as they are written is called sequence. Whether you are new to coding or you are an expert with a career in programming, sequence is key. A computer can only do exactly what a programmer tells it to. If the order of instructions or sequence given to a computer is wrong, the program will not run correctly. In Codable, your fuzz acts just like a computer. Whatever commands you choose to put in your program, your fuzz will follow them exactly, from the first command to the last one. Here is an example in Codable. To get through this maze, we want our fuzz to move right, up, right, down, and right. Drag these commands into your program in the same sequence. Remember, your fuzz will only change directions if you tell it to. Let's try it out. Once a computer is given commands in the correct sequence, you can add something else to your code that will change the way your fuzz moves. Conditional statements. A conditional statement is an if-then statement that tells your program to run a part of your code only if a certain condition is met. If a condition is true, then something will happen. This may sound a bit complicated, but you actually use conditional statements every day. Think about a typical school day. Things happen in an ordered sequence. First, you wake up in the morning, then you get ready for school, you arrive at school, you go to class, you go to recess, and so forth. Let's say, as a general rule, your school always has recess outside. But what if it's raining? Then an exception to this rule must be made. If it is raining, then you will stay inside. But if it is not raining, then the condition is false and we will go outside. Based on the rainy condition, your day will look different. Another common example of conditional statements in action are passwords. Think about how a password works. Say you want to log into your account and you need to choose a picture password. If you select the correct password, then you can log into your account. The condition here is that your password is correct. If this condition is not met and your password is incorrect, then you will not be able to log in. In this activity, you can code your fuzz to change directions if a certain condition is true. This is important because it means you can make your program smarter and collect more pieces of trash. Some animals will only be able to be rescued with the help of conditional statements. Let's see what a conditional statement looks like in Codable and work through a level together. Start by drawing the path that will allow the fuzz to collect all the trash. Here, we want our fuzz to move right, up, right, down, up, right, down, right. But we're missing something. We need to place a condition tile here to tell our fuzz if pink, then move down. Without this condition tile, our fuzz would keep moving straight and not know to turn down. Let's see it in action. Drag the commands into your program to tell your fuzz to move right, up, right. Now, when our fuzz reaches our pink tile, we want it to move down, not continue moving right. If pink, then down. So let's code it. 
if pink, then down. After putting the rest of our commands in the correct sequence, we can test our program. Remember, you may need to place a conditional tile if you want your fuzz to change directions. Happy coding! Now it's your turn. Create your maze, code your program, test it out.